my name is Dell. Dell the Builder. I got my builder hat on today. Uh, I'm going to build a swing set. I've done this before and I'm going to try it a little bit differently. I've noticed that a lot of people uh, use try to use 4x4s four and so I went ahead and bought some a little bit larger uh, size boards this time and I'm gonna try to put this together and see how it looks. So what I did was I went to the Home Depot and, and you can get these six by six posts. They're 12 feet, they're about 45 bucks a piece. I went ahead and got a third one. I'm gonna try this is what I'm doing a little bit differently before I tried to use two by sixes and sandwich in a four by four with bolts and things like that. So I just went ahead and spent a little bit more money. Makes it a little bit easier, they're heavier, but you can get the six by six posts. I've got three of them, 12 feet long. I'm gonna go 10 feet wide. The post will be put in sackcrete. I've got the sackcrete here in the, in the truck. Uh, we'll put the post 10 feet wide, and I went ahead and got a 12 foot post, and we'll run it past a foot on either side. You can hang a, I don't know, a bird feeder or something over there, or just have it ornamental. Uh, but I've got uh, went ahead and bought some chain. I, I bought um, four pieces that are eight feet long. Uh, with these boards being 12 feet long, they'll be 36 inches in the ground. Um, so that leaves us a good height, nine to 10 feet for, um, for the height of the swings. I think the key point, I've noticed a lot of people, this is the, this is the pivot point of, of the, um, of the, uh, design of the I think the stress point of the swing set with the weight of the the momentum of the swings back and forth I think the weight of this top beam uh, all your stress point is here so I went ahead and get these are like twenty dollars each I'm gonna put these plates on the front and the back and you bolt them in uh, I'm gonna put the anchor bolts here as your points and then on the post, these bolts here. So these would be your points. So we have the uh, four plates, and then I went ahead and bought the bolts uh, galvanized uh, for exterior. You could get a stainless steel, but these are about uh, $4 uh, a piece, and I'll bolt those straight through and connect them to the other side plates. And then these are your swing, swing hardware. We're gonna put two swings on here for now for the kids, and then later you could always transfer that to a bench swing. So these, I don't know if you can see this or not, these are galvanized bolts. They're uh, seven, seven inches long, they're half inch, uh, and then of course a couple of washers, the nut, uh, and of course the bolt head. And then they'll go in these plates. Um, when we finish it up, they should be go through. So what I'm gonna do, rather than show you all the the bolt drilling I'll just I'm gonna go ahead and get this one uh, drilled in and then you can gauge it for each mark that I made and each one of these holes going through to make your mark get a drill bit that'll go all the way through so we have these bolts that we've got at Home Depot. These were for the swing set kit. And I've drilled, I've done the same thing where you just drill up 3 8 inch through the post and beam or through the beam and you hammer these in and then the kit, it comes in a kit. So you just screw these in. That's pretty much it. And then you'll hook your chains to this. So what we've done is we put the the uh, I call these the T brackets on. We've drilled the holes through, put the bolts through, and and we're going to put the other uh, T brackets on the back side here in just a minute. But I wanted to show this to you because while we have it set on the on the sawhorse, we went ahead and drilled these in as I indicated when I showed the the uh, screwing those in. But that finished these up, and that way there when it's up in the air, you have that already done. We'll go ahead and hang the change from that as well uh, so everything's done so you're not working too much on a ladder so then what I've done now is I went ahead and took after drilling all the swing pieces for the chains drilling that through bolting them all up I went ahead and laid it on the ground find a place around your 
you know, your driveway maybe that's got some straight square lines and that way you can kind of lay these big heavy boards. They're hard to move. You're doing it on your own. And you can just kind of put them around that side and that way there you can, you know, bolt everything up. And then you can see, I went ahead and, at Home Depot and got these chains and you can put these up at like, uh, they'll cut them about eight feet. They'll cut them for you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put those together and bolt these last two in. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get these posts put in concrete, but I'm gonna leave those unbolted. Put the posts in concrete and I'll come back later and I'll set that top header. Okay, so here's our site. We're gonna put it back here in the yard, uh, 10 foot. We're gonna dig two two holes there, about 10 feet apart. So what, what I did, I just, uh, I don't, I don't wanna carry everything around. So I just put it back up on my truck and drove it, drove it out here to the uh, location. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the header and I'm gonna lay it down here uh, so I can mark the holes and be uh, very close to that and then we'll we'll set the posts and then find some scrap lumber and we'll temporarily support those uh, posts while the concrete sets we stood the posts up and braced them so we dug two holes you know about to put quick creek in there the uh, holes are about uh, 30 to 34 inches uh, deep we want to be that that deep at least 30 close to 34 inches um, because you've got uh, the 12 foot, 12 foot post. Now I, I like to put the concrete all the way down um, and try to get some of the concrete at least an inch below the post. So I put like a rock or two down there and make sure that the quick creek gets down below the post, up and around if you'll notice, and make sure that, the, um, that it drains away from the post. As long as the water is draining away, I, I like to have it, uh, just keep it away from that post. It'll make it last a, a long time. So there it is. We'll look at the finished product once we uh, get the concrete to set, and we'll set the post um, shortly. So what we've done now is we've, we've put the concrete in and we've let it set for a few days. And what we're doing now is we went ahead and took the beam that we prepared. We went ahead and hung the chain so we don't have to do it up on the ladder and we put some temporary supports here and I set this up this morning and what I'll do is I'll get a little help. Uh, this is the dangerous part of the whole setting, uh, setting this top beam up on top. Uh, so I'll get a little help and we'll lift it up that last three feet, set it in position, bolt it up. Well, there you have it. There's our finished product. We, uh, we had two people, I had two people I had one person helped me lift up the beam. We had a ladder on each post, and once we got it off the temporary support, it was a little bit heavy. That's, like I said, the most dangerous spot. And you just lift it up in position, leave the, the brackets on so they are a guide to set down on the post. Once you get it in position, the weight's uh, stable, and then you put the, the, uh, the bolts through one end. They fit. This end, we had to adjust a little bit. You can use a a nail punch to kind of guide the the bolts through you'll have to adjust it a little bit because that's a lot of distance to try to get it exactly the first time well, i hope you enjoy it hit like on the on the uh, on the youtube page and enjoy many years with the kids grandkids and uh, hope you enjoyed it